Hepatitis B is a viral infection that affects the liver, and it is caused by the hepatitis B virus, one of the most common causes of chronic liver disease and hepatocellular carcinoma worldwide if left untreated. Certain factors increase the risk of transmission and spread of hepatitis B infection, and they include direct contact with infected blood. The hepatitis B virus can be transmitted through direct contact with infected blood or blood products. This can occur through sharing needles or other drug paraphernalia, receiving contaminated blood transfusions or organ transplants in healthcare settings. HBV can be transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse with an infected partner. The virus is present in the blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and saliva of infected individuals. Engaging in high-risk sexual behaviors, such as having multiple sexual partners, increases the risk of transmission. Infants can acquire hepatitis B from their infected mothers during childbirth. The virus can pass from the mother's blood or vaginal fluids to the baby's bloodstream or through small tears in the baby's skin or mucous membranes during delivery. HBV can survive outside the body for extended period. Sharing items such as razors, toothbrush, or personal hygiene tools that have come into contact with infected blood or other bodily fluids can lead to transmission. Healthcare workers and other individuals who come into contact with blood or body fluids are at risk of HBV transmission if appropriate precautions, such as using gloves and following proper infection control procedures, are not taken. Accidental needle stick injuries with contaminated needles or other sharp objects can transmit HBV if the source of the injury is infected. Reusing or inadequately sterilizing medical or dental equipment that has come into contact with infected blood or bodily fluids can lead to transmission. Hepatitis B is more prevalent in certain regions, such as sub-Saharan Africa and parts of Asia. Traveling to these areas increases the risk of exposure. It's important to note that HBV is not spread through casual contact, such as hugging, sharing food or water, or through coughing or sneezing. Hepatitis B infection can cause both acute and chronic hepatitis, with symptoms varying depending on the stage of the infection. It is important to note that not everyone infected with hepatitis B will experience symptoms, especially during the early stages of the infection. However, when symptoms do occur, they may include fatigue. Feeling tired or exhausted even with adequate rest is a common symptom of hepatitis B. Jaundice which is the yellowing of the skin and eyes is a characteristic sign of liver dysfunction, which can occur in hepatitis B. Some individuals may experience discomfort or pain in the abdominal region, particularly around the liver area. Hepatitis B can cause a decrease in appetite and result in unintentional weight loss. Many people with hepatitis B may experience nausea, sometimes accompanied by vomiting. The urine may appear darker than usual due to the presence of bilirubin a pigment produced by the liver. Stools may become pale or clay-colored due to a decrease in the production of bile by the liver. Some individuals with hepatitis B may experience joint pain or arthritis-like symptoms. Acute hepatitis B can lead to a low-grade fever, typically in the early stages of the infection. Hepatitis B can cause itching or skin rashes in some cases. Timely diagnosis of hepatitis B is crucial for proper management and preventing the spread of the virus. Healthcare providers employ various diagnostic tests to confirm hepatitis B infection. These include medical history. Your healthcare provider will ask you questions about your symptoms, medical history, and potential risk factors for hepatitis B, such as a history of exposure to infected blood or sexual contact with an infected person. Providing accurate information can help in the diagnosis. A physical examination may be conducted to assess any signs of liver damage or other related symptoms. The healthcare provider may check for abdominal tenderness, enlarged liver or spleen, and signs of jaundice. Blood tests are essential for diagnosing hepatitis B. The following tests are commonly performed. Antibody tests. These tests detect antibodies produced by the immune system in response to the hepatitis B virus. They include anti-hepatitis B surface antibody and anti-hepatitis B core antibody. These tests help determine the stage of infection and immune response. Hepatitis B surface antigen. This test detects the presence of the hepatitis B surface antigen, which indicates an active infection. Liver function tests measure the levels of liver enzymes and proteins in the blood, providing information about liver function and potential damage. 
Viral DNA or RNA tests determine the level of viral genetic material in the blood. They can help assess the severity of infection and monitor the response to treatment. In some cases, imaging studies such as ultrasound, computed tomography, or magnetic resonance imaging may be performed to evaluate the condition of the liver and identify any complications. The primary treatment for chronic hepatitis B is the use of antiviral medications. These medications can help suppress the replication of the virus in the liver, reduce liver inflammation, and prevent or slow down liver damage. Currently, there are five nucleoside or nucleotide analogs approved for the treatment of chronic hepatitis B, including three nucleoside analogs, which are lamivudine, telbivudine, and entecavir, and two nucleotide analogs, which are adefavir and tenofovir. Interferon therapy involves injecting synthetic proteins called interferons into the body to stimulate the immune system and fight the hepatitis B virus. This treatment is usually administered for a limited duration and may have side effects, such as flu-like symptoms, depression, and fatigue. Regular monitoring of liver function through blood tests, including liver enzyme level and viral load is important to assess the progression of the infection and the effectiveness of the treatment. This helps doctors make informed decisions regarding the course of treatment. In severe cases of hepatitis B with extensive liver damage or liver failure, a liver transplant may be necessary. During this procedure, a diseased liver is replaced with a healthy liver from a donor. It is crucial for individuals with hepatitis B to adopt a healthy lifestyle to support liver health. This includes avoiding alcohol consumption, maintaining a balanced diet, exercising regularly, and avoiding substances that can harm the liver, such as certain medications or herbal supplements. It is important to note that not all individuals with hepatitis B require treatment. Some cases may resolve on their own, while others may require ongoing monitoring and supportive care. The most effective way to prevent hepatitis B is through vaccination. The hepatitis B vaccine is a safe and effective way to protect yourself from the virus. It is typically given as a series of three or four shots over a six-month period. Consult with your healthcare provider to ensure you are up to date with the recommended vaccine schedule. For individuals who have been exposed to hepatitis B, such as through a needle stick injury or sexual contact with an infected person, administration of hepatitis B immune globulin may help prevent infection. It is typically given along with the hepatitis B vaccine. HBV is spread through contact with infected blood, semen, or other body fluids. It can be transmitted through sexual intercourse, so using barrier methods such as condoms can reduce the risk of infection. It is also important to be aware of your partner's hepatitis B status and get tested if necessary. Hepatitis B can be transmitted through sharing needles or other drug paraphernalia. If you use injectable drugs, make sure to use clean needles and avoid sharing them with others. Needle exchange programs and safe injection sites can provide sterile needles and help reduce the risk of infection. If you suspect you have been exposed to hepatitis B or are at risk, it is important to get tested. Early detection can help prevent the spread of the virus and allow for timely medical intervention. If you are diagnosed with hepatitis B, your healthcare provider can recommend appropriate treatment options and monitoring. Promote awareness about hepatitis B, its modes of transmission, and prevention methods through education campaigns. This helps individuals make informed decisions and take necessary precautions to reduce their risk of infection. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you to continue learning by watching our earlier video on Hepatitis A. To watch our Hepatitis A video, simply click the link in the description below or find it in the suggested videos on the side. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our future videos.